Welcome to Computer Tech TV. My name is Rick Arter. Today's video will cover the features and specifications of the Lano series of AMD Fusion APUs. The Lano series of APUs from AMD are available on the A55 and A75 platforms available now. The APUs themselves will be available as of June 30th, 2011. To begin, I'd like to tell you the general features of the new Lano series APUs from AMD. They will be featured on the socket FM1, have a thermal design power or TDP of 65 and 100 watts based off the 32 nanometer manufacturing process. These CPUs will not feature any L3 cache. They will, however, have the integrated Radeon HD graphics and support dual channel DDR3 memory support up to 1,866 megahertz for the higher end models. On the low end, we have the A4 series. These are dual core chips. As you can see here, we have the 3300 and the 3400. 3300 is clocked at 2.5 gigahertz and the 3400 is clocked at 2.7 gigahertz. Both of these processors do not feature turbo core. They both feature one megabyte of L2 cache, as well as a 6410D HD graphics and both CPUs are 65 watt TDP. The A6 series features a triple core and two quad core APUs. 3500 and the 3600 share similar specifications. They both have 2.1 gigahertz clock speeds, 2.4 gigahertz turbo core speeds, but the cache is different, three megabytes on the triple core, four megabytes on the quad core. All these APUs feature the 6530D HD graphics, and the 3500 and 3600 are 65 watt TDP. The 3650 quad core is 2.6 gigahertz, does not feature turbo core, has four megabytes of L2 cache, and it's 100 watt TDP. On the high end, we have the A8 series. These are quad core APUs. 3800 is a 2.4 gigahertz with 2.7 gigahertz turbo core, four megabytes of L2 cache, 6550D HD graphics, and a 65 watt TDP. 3850 is a 2.9 gigahertz clock speed, does not feature turbo core, has four megabytes of L2 cache, also has the 6550D HD graphics, and this comes in at 100 watts on the TDP. That concludes the overview of the specifications and features for the new Lano series of APUs from AMD that will be released June 30th of 2011. As I stated, the A55 and A75 chipset motherboards should be on the market as of the making of this video. If you guys have any questions or would like to see anything on video, please send me a personal message. And remember to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching and more videos to come.